Hi then YouTube, it's Ben Gribben here from AppleReviews.com. Today we're going to be looking at an application for the Mac called OmWriter. So, basically OmWriter is an application that's designed to help you concentrate on writing. Now if you look on their website, the main focus of OmWriter is to recapture what technology has taken away and that is the capacity to concentrate because admittedly applications make sounds and emails ping and there's all kinds of windows you can have open at once they just distract you um, the idea of OmWriter is it's going to recapture your ability to focus and I'm going to show you how it does that in a minute um, but with the benefits of still being able to use computer based text editing rather than going to back to pens and paper it's going to suit anybody who's a scriptwriter, blogger, journalist, copywriter, poet, or if you just like writing and uh, want to concentrate. So, we're going to have a look at it. Another thing to bear in mind with OmWriter is it's still a beta, a beta, however you want to say it. So, therefore, it's not actually purchasable as yet. You just need to simply fill out your email address and your name and you will be able to try it for free. However, we're going to go into the application and have a look at it now. So as I've already said, it's going to help you focus and that's going to happen via the use of this very simple lightweight UI. Now you see the application switch to full screen. There's no taskbar, there's no dock, there's no emails pinging around everything on this screen is gone apart from this nice picture in the background of a field with snow and two trees now the actual application removes the taskbar and places all your options down here on the right as six different icons so you've got the ability to change your font between a sans serif a serif and a script font you can change the size from normal to large to extra large. You can change the background if you're not happy with the background. And this is one of the most clever features. It's got built-in music tracks. Now these are in theory designed to help you concentrate. You are recommended to use these with headphones so that you're not getting any outside noise. But they do help you concentrate if you put your headphones on and just play these tracks very calming, block out external noise and just in general help you to focus without getting bored because you're still listening to some sort of music. This option here, I'm not quite sure what that does. However, that is one of the downsides of the program that I'd like to highlight is the icons, while they look good and they're very simple to get rid of the taskbar, they, they don't have any sort of labeling on them as to what they do. So you just have to sort of try it out and see what happens. That's the only downside. The application in itself is fine, it works very well. The music's good. The program allows you to save as text files or as dot o double m files, which is a native app, native file extension for OmWriter. Overall then, it's a very good program. It helps you focus. It's got a very clever interface and it's a, a little bit different to say programs like Write Room. Built in, you've got the movable work pane and a word counter down here, which is good. And you've also probably noticed it's got clicking noise when you type out the words now that can get a little bit annoying but it also does help you concentrate to an extent so it's worth trying out on writer seeing what you think of it if you do any blogging screencasting script writing copywriting it's gonna really help you focus if not consider trying a program like write room which is equally as good without the music and that's available if you Google Write Room. In the meantime though, you should check out omwriter.com and if you're looking for more Apple related reviews, then you should go to applereviews.com. 
we try to post daily new, updated and exciting reviews for you to have a look over. And also, if you're not on our YouTube channel, then why not have a look at that? That's available at youtube.com forward slash user slash Apple reviews and then the word dot com. So that's Apple reviews, the word dot com. So my name is Ben Gribbin. This has been another video review for applereviews.com. And until the next video, have a good day.